And we have another update this morning on the runway repairs at Kona International Airport. The runway was originally set to open at 6 a.m. for commercial flights, but will remain closed due to equipment malfunction and asphalt repairs. The runway is tentatively set to reopen around 12 p.m. The Department of Transportation is asking those who are traveling today to check with your airline regarding your flight status. Ten years after state lawmakers outlawed unpopular car boots, a new device is cracking down on illegal parking on Oahu. It's called a barnacle, and it covers the front window of a car. And it forces drivers to pay a fine through a QR code in order to release the suction cups, and then violators have to take it to a drop-off location. It's already been spotted over the weekend in Kailua. Kiyoki Anderson, who is with Pono Parking, says this is better than getting towed. Nobody likes to get towed. It disrupts your day. Um, it also disrupts someone else's day because you have to maybe call a friend, get them to take you out to San Island. Um, and that can take a while. You put this device on there and you can rectify the situation in a few minutes. The Department of Transportation Services said it did not authorize the device and referred us to HPD. And we're still waiting to hear from police. Two men have been charged in a shooting in Kalihi Valley. 22-year-old Zacharias Galua and 21-year-old Raider Misioka have been charged with second-degree attempted murder. The victim told police he was sitting in his car a little before 7 o'clock Saturday night when he was approached by the armed suspects. According to police sources, one of the men shot into the victim's car, narrowly missing the 30-year-old. They each have a bail set at $150,000. The trial of alleged crime boss Mike Miski resumed Monday after a week-long break due to a juror's illness. But after another juror missed a flight yesterday morning, there was only time for one witness. That was a former romantic partner of Wayne Miller, Miski's so-called right-hand man, who previously testified about drug deals, assaults, and kidnappings. The trial is set to continue today. So it's pretty small today. It's likely that the Hurley Pro at Sunset Beach is off. Uh, hopefully, they'll see more waves after this next large swell. This extra large swell is due on Thursday. High surf alerts will be posted, but it will likely be stormy, and that's why the eddy has been called off for that swell. So we'll see some fairly calm weather through Valentine's Day, and as that front moves in, the winds will start to shift. So we'll get southwest corner winds tomorrow, and then northerly winds on Thursday as that front moves in with more scattered showers. Not expected to be a big rain event. Although you can see those winds, they'll begin picking up speed. It's going to be quite breezy breezy going into the weekend. And once that front moves through, temperatures will really get uh, sort of chilly. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.